Welcome to Lucky Bay, Seaport's transshipment port development based in South Australia. Seaports is proud to lead the shift in the paradigm in port infrastructure, away from the traditional deep water ports to shallow draft transshipment ports. This $115 million project employs state-of-the-art technology and will be the first of many ports developed using this pioneering approach. The Lucky Bay development consists of the port, the port silos and facilities, two storage sites with a combined capacity of more than 500,000 tonnes and the transshipment vessel. The facilities themselves are adopting the latest technology to generate efficiencies and ensure cost-effective operations. By utilising transshipment technology, T-Ports has significantly reduced the costs and regulatory obstacles in developing new, efficient and environmentally friendly export and import facilities. This is achieved through eliminating the need to build major jetty structures and reducing the port footprint, while greatly reducing the build time and capital expenditure required in comparison to traditional ports. The T-Ports business model offers investors the opportunity to enter into port ownership at cost. The entry point allows significant upside potential when compared with traditional higher price port opportunities. This infrastructure enables T-Ports to move the port to the product, which significantly reduces domestic haulage distances and land-based infrastructure expenditure. In the case of Lucky Bay, it's expected to reduce domestic haulage costs for growers by up to $20 per tonne. Designed in Australia and constructed in China, the bespoke state-of-the-art vessel features technology developed by Sea Transport Solutions. The vessel has a 3,500 tonne capacity and requires less than four metres of water depth at port. It was built by Bonnie Fair Development and CCCC in Shanghai. The vessel is expected to load up to 10,000 tonnes per day and is capable of loading vessels up to Panamax size. This vessel differs from traditional transshipment vessels, which are slower, less manoeuvrable, have slower load speeds and are limited in the weather conditions in which they can operate. This vessel in Lucky Bay can operate in wave heights of up to two and a half metres and winds of up to 25 knots. Traditional transshipment systems are limited to operating in conditions of one metre wave heights and wind speeds of 20 knots. The vessel design is one of many solutions created to deal with a wide range of products and throughput quantities. T-Ports is excited with presenting customers and investors with a global niche market solution, changing port infrastructure by increasing global supply chain efficiency.